I think the number one aspect of creating a culturally relevant classroom is being able to have an, a classroom where people feel safe. We talk about such sensitive topics that sometimes concepts or ideas or, or different types of, of issues that occur in our society might seem offensive to some people because they feel like you're talking at them. When we understand that it has nothing to do with individual people, but it's a systemic issue, and that I will respect all opinions, I'll, I'll respect anything that that is backed up by fact and our research and our reading, um, and I empower them to do their own research, I think it's that openness that, that really helps us talk about things that a lot of adults have issues talking with and dealing with. And so once they know that they're in a safe environment, that, that there's no judgment, that they can ask questions, because oftentimes in our society, we, people can't even ask questions because then they're, then they're called, you know, they're called ignorant or, or they're, said you, they're told you should have known this. And so when that openness is part of the class, students then feel really comfortable uh, to bring up topics, to talk about things, and to be open and honest. I like most about Miss St. John's class is probably how open everything is. You know, it's under control where, you know, we aren't allowed to run around it, but at the same time we could discuss the topic and really be open about it and get the full extent of it. And I think when you're more open with the students, it really allows them to kind of grow and really understand the topic better. The thing I like the most is you're able to get your opinion out and you can kind of show what you feel about certain things of being uh, treated respected.